Okay, so in this video I'm going to go about showing you how I make decent quality uh, dry film PCBs at home. So I use uh, laser transparency. I stack up two layers in order to get the density that I need. And I basically just stack it up by eye and then use magic tape to hold it down. I find that that works well enough. I use scouring liquid and a scouring pad to clean up the PCB and then pretty much hot water and just keep cleaning it until the water stops beating. <coughs> and I haven't found the amount of water on the PCB matters too much. When I'm getting rid of the safety layer, I peel it directly back towards the inside layer. I've got a layer of tape on either side and then it kind of relaxes and becomes quite easy to deal with. So when I'm laying it down onto the PCB, uh, there's a bit of water on there and that causes it to pretty much suck itself down. And then I just roll it out to get rid of the excess water. You could use a squeegee if you want. So I've got a layer of card underneath and I just put it through the laminator a couple of times until it's nicely adhered. Trim it up, get rid of the excess. And I'm using an old uh, plate film exposure uh, slide here. You could just use two sheets of glass and clothes pegs, or, you know, whatever you have. And making sure that it's face to face, um, side to be exposed to the printed side. And then it goes into the uh, UV exposure unit. Um, I'm just that's one that I made myself. It gets 92 seconds because that works for me. And then the other layer of the uh, PCB protection comes off. Again, that's tape and then peel straight back towards itself. And the lighter areas are what's going to be washed away. So this is washing soda, uh, laundry stuff. It's very, very cheap. So I throw it in there, give it a soak, give it a brush, give it a soak, give it a brush. I only use that brush for this purpose. I don't use it for anything else. And then after a couple of goes, that'll get rid of pretty much everything. Um, I don't measure those chemicals incidentally. I tend to use ferric chloride. Um, I cut my hand open in between these shots, hence the Michael Jackson single glove thing. And that uh, method of rocking is the method that I've found to be pretty much best for keeping the chemical moving. So I just keep exposing it until I can shine a light through it and see that all of the copper is gone. And that's the sodium carbonate I was using earlier. I just keep it for that. Soak it for about half an hour and then put it into hot water. And that pretty much causes the uh, dry film to peel straight off. And as you can see, and then a bit of testing, there's a bridge in there because I didn't uh, didn't etch it for long enough, so I just scratched that out. And then that's uh, rosin, um, tree sap actually, and methylated spirits painted on, it goes frosty white, heated up so that it goes clear. And then I've got a bit of drilling that I do. Um, I tend to keep a light behind it so that I can see where the drill's going. I just find that easier. And I just use metal she metal shears to cut, cut everything out. I found that works as well as anything else. And that's pretty much how I make PCBs. Um, not professional level, but good enough for home, yes. If you have any questions, just fire away.